Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Um, we're going to tie a loop wing yellow sally. This is my version of a yellow sally. Um, I got a size 14 hook here, TMC 100, some Vivas 12 aught Cahill. I'm going to start out by taking and getting a little um, uni stretch. And in Chinese red, you know, those little yellow sallies have the uh, red butt on them. So I'm going to leave that hang out there, wrap to the back, pull this one back, come forward, and then I'm going to cut this short, and it makes a little red butt. Okay. Next, I need some pearl flashaboo, and this is just your hanked material you would use for shimmering your flies. I'm going to use this for a rib. Next, I need some um, yellow, pale yellow dubbing. You can use whatever yellow you like for your sallies. This is what I like to use. Um, I'll take this body and dub a little bit of dubbing, dubbing on at a time. Trying to keep that body smooth. No lumps in your dubbing. Small amount at a time. You can always add more. It's hard to take away. So I've got my dubbing there. Kind of tighten up any little loose strands I have. So there's my body, and I'll just take this pearl flashaboo as a rib. Bring it up through there. And then next, I'm going to put a loop of Antron in there. And this is just white Antron that comes on a roll. I'll just take this and double it over. I'm going to stroke the material to keep all the fibers lined up. Keep that loop kind of even. And I'm going to tie it so it sits right on top of that red butt. I don't want it to go over the bend of the hook. Okay, so I've got that on there. And then I'm going to take a little CDC feather, just to add a little effect on there. I'll lay that on top. You can reverse it. I've done it both ways. I put the CDC under. I've also tied elk hair on top, a few strands of elk hair. That keeps the wing kind of in position a little bit. And then I will take a ginger hackle, Cree hackle, light brown hackle. You choose your your uh, your color. This one's just a ginger. And then I will take um, a little more of my yellow dubbing. That nice and tight on there. And then I will take this and hold everything back and bring. make sure you bring that thread all the way, or that dubbing all the way up against the base of the wing. Okay, and then I'm going to take this hackle and just run it right through here. Probably about three, maybe four wraps. Take that hackle, fold it back, just to make sure she doesn't slip at all. Whip finish off my head. And there you have the loop wing yellow sally. And you can 
trim this top and bottom so it lays flat or you can let it ride high, whatever you like. I'm going to trim this one. That's how I kind of like it. 